Should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, I should do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Gecko Cove. My name is Bobby, and in today's episode, I want to explore Morph Market and more importantly, their auction feature. Um, so unless you've been under a rock or brand new to uh, Morph Market and selling geckos, you know that they have instituted a new uh, way to sell geckos on their platform, which is their auction feature. Um, and so I've been a little bit hesitant. I've been watching a few auctions and I'm thinking I want to give it a chance. I've talked to a few other breeders who have done it. Uh, they've given me some tips on how, you know, sometimes it's worked out great. Uh, I got them into a bidding war and then other times they sold geckos for way less than they would have wanted to. So, uh, I'm going to bring you along on the journey, see if I regret it, see if I, I have some fun with this. Hopefully I don't regret it. Hopefully this will be great and I'll do it a bunch more times, but it is a good way to kind of get your geckos out there. And, and if you need to move things, uh, it might be a great way to kind of just rather than listing, actually put them up, uh, on display for people to start bidding on right away so that you can sell them. So Come along with me. I'm going to go and do a screen share, kind of show you uh, the breeder side and, of Morph Market, uh, my store, and then how I'm actually going to go and post uh, this gecko. I'll show you the gecko and uh, take you for the whole process. So stick around and I'll see you in a Market. second. I'll be honest. I'm a little nervous. All right. Let me show you around. I'm already logged in. Uh, so if I go up to the right hand corner over here, you can see that I'm logged in, click there, and I'll just quickly show you my store. Uh, if you haven't visited my Morph Market page, please uh, do so. I've got some amazing geckos real quick, so I'm going to pitch that. Uh, some nice babies from last year that are looking for a fantastic new home. This gecko actually right here is the gecko that I'm considering putting up for auction. Not just considering, we're doing it. We're gonna put it up for auction today. So this is the very last baby I have from Kilauea in Hawaii. Hawaii is a gorgeous six stripe. Uh, Kilauea is another gorgeous quad stripe with actual phantom eye. Um, they produced, uh, what, I think seven, eight gorgeous babies for me. Um, and uh, just, just really knocked it out of the park. I did sell dad, um, just looking to add a little bit more consistency with the six stripe project. Um, but they created some amazing blotches and this baby is, is no slouch. Uh, it gets better and better with each shed. Um, both parents are orange animals. So I think that this is going to stay relatively orange, if not bicolor. Um, so that's the gecko I'm going to be putting up. I did just sex it. It is looking male. It's got tons of pores for its size. Um, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. If you need a male, this could be it. Now, how do we put up an animal for auction? Let's go back to the main page. I'm going to click here and I go to my animals. Now, click on the Kilauea Hawaii baby. And this is the page when you set up a gecko or any animal for sale. This is what it looks like. You fill in all the information. And then as you go down here, you're going to select status for sale. Again, I have it listed right now for 350. I did have it listed for 400. I think it's worth it. I think it's a great gecko, but they're all my babies. So I'm a little bit biased. Um, I don't want to gouge people because honestly, some people gave me great deals, um, and so I, you know, I'm a new breeder. I know I don't have the clout that, that some big name people have out there, so um, I feel like 350 is a pretty, uh, pretty fair price for how much coverage this gecko has. Now, let's get to the actual auction. What uh, do we need to do to actually set up the auction? So, click here with the auction tab. Right now, I have it on no. If I click yes. Let's read a little bit here. Warning, by activating an auction, you agree to the rules and terms of service. You are limited to one auction per month. That's because I'm on the basic plan, guys. I'd pay for the basic plan. I don't sell enough geckos to upgrade. But if I did upgrade, you can unlock more per month. All auctions are final. 
absolutely final. Auctions cannot be stopped once started. For more information, read our guidelines. I've gone and read the guidelines. Make sure you read the guidelines. Know what you're getting into before you start this process if you're thinking about doing it. A low reserve price will result in more successful auctions. I believe that when it comes to all the animals across the board on Morph Market. I've talked to a few breeders. I, some of them have gotten a little bit burned with, with you know, selling a gecko for less than 100 bucks when it's a multi-$100, you know, gecko. So I'm a little bit worried. That's why I haven't jumped into this yet. I've kind of waited to see what uh, other, other geckos have gone for. And so, you know, I'm ready to do it now, but I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Um, only a reserve price or a starting bid can be used, not both. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So that is what I have to decide. Do I want to do no reserve? No, I'm not going to do no reserve. I know that's what they suggest, but but I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. Basically, that means that you know if someone bids 50 bucks and that's the highest bid, the gecko goes for 50 bucks plus shipping. Um, reserve. That's basically saying that uh, they start off at zero, and when people bid. They will let you know once the reserve has been met. If the reserve is never met, then the gecko just goes back to you. No harm, no foul. Starting bid basically means that the very first bid has to be X amount of dollars. Um, you know, that might be risky because maybe nobody even has a starting bid and wants to go that high. Um, I'm going to go for the risky one. I'm going to do starting bid, okay? Also, you can decide between a one-day, two-day, or three-day. So this is Friday... Uh, March 1st that I'm doing this. Uh, I'm going to do a three-day. So on, on March 3rd, it should be over. Uh, it'll be over in the evening, so go check it out. I'm going to do, what did I say my gecko's worth, 350 Guys, this is my baby. I'm a little bit nervous here. I want it to go to a good home. I want you to, to value it as much as I can, by, but still kind of give you an opportunity to get it at a good price. I'm going to put a starting bid of $200. That may seem high to you, but trust me, this gecko is worth it. It's I only buy the best geckos I possibly can. Um, and anything that you do to support this channel, like buying geckos from me, goes straight back into this channel, making content, buying more amazing animals to show off to you guys so that we can all learn together. So um, hopefully that's enough value. Plus, here's the other thing I'm, I'm willing to throw in. If you do put a bid on this gecko and you win this gecko i am going to give you the opportunity to come on the show and tell me about tell me tell my audience about the experience of bidding while also maybe even talking about the experience of my customer service uh, and the shipping process receiving it you know all that good jazz but i think it'd be fun to Talk about you know how people who receive my geckos uh, feel about my own customer service, and you can come on. I can answer questions about the gecko or about just overall care, um, and you guys can have an opportunity to come on uh, either with your face showing, without your face showing, or if you just say, you know what, Bobby, that's not my jam. I just want the gecko. That's totally fine too, no problem. But it's just a perk. If you do end up winning this gecko, you can be on the show with me, and uh, we can have a nice chat, uh, share, sharing our experience. So enough talking. One thing I'm going to do before I go and hit this save button here, I am going to go and cut away right now, show you the gecko. I'm going to hand model it, talk about it just for a quick second, and then I'm going to come back here, hit save, and it is live, baby. Go right now. Uh, in the description right now is a link to this animal. Uh, all right guys here it is beautiful look at how much color is on this gecko and this is only five grams okay keep that in mind try to have the camera focus a little bit this gecko i feel like is about to go into shed to be honest with you get my face out of there Come on. <laughs> this is harder than it looks so let's focus. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful boy. Again, comes from Hawaii and Kilauea. All right. I'll post pictures of the parents right here and here. 
So now that you've seen the parents again, this baby is carrying the phantom gene potentially. At least it's, I think it's a recessive trait. So I think this will be a carrier. It won't probably uh, have phantom eyes, but I might be wrong. But with these blotches, what I've seen with some of the other siblings is that it just keeps growing. And so if this gecko is, is the one you want, right? If you want to put a bid on it, go over to my morph market again. In the description will be a link to the auction. You have three days. All right, three days. Go now. Don't wait. And uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best fans ever. Talk to you soon. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and want to encourage me to make more Gargoyle Gecko content, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend, and maybe uh, check out one of the videos right over there. I'll see you next time on Gecko Cove.